Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Karen Nelson, AKA the designer in jeans. Today I'm doing more on the lifestyle and since it's February, I wanted to address 10 small changes that can improve your happiness on a day-to-day -day basis. So February, of course we're in the middle of winter. I do live in Texas, so our weather is a lot better, I know, than some other states. Still battle some days when we have too much rain or like days without the sun with a little bit of seasonal depression. I am not a doctor. I am not a psychiatrist, psychologist, or anything like that. These are just 10 simple ways that I use to um, kind of boost my mood and improve my happiness when I'm going through these phases. I grew up in Ohio, so I have 18 years of winters under my belt, as well as we did the extremely long stint of eight months in Washington State. <laughs> if you live in Washington State, you have a beautiful state, but the winter was too much. It was just too much rain for me and not enough sun and um, definitely not somewhere I could stay long term. I am a sun seeker, so I am constantly running after the sun. All that being said, here are 10 small changes to improve your happiness on the daily. The first tip that I have is to sit down and have some quiet time or journal time. So for this, I always sit down with a cup of coffee or tea, some people just like water, whatever it is. The second thing that I found helps me tremendously is to tidy my home. So this could be doing up some dishes or wiping down the countertops. It could be putting away some clothes or just straightening the pillows on your couch, whatever it is. I just try to create that environment that is warm and encompassing and more of like a cocoon for myself. But when I look around, I don't see problems. I don't see everything that I have forgotten to do. And instead I see um, a beautiful space that I've created. Step three is to make time for creativity. And this can come in so many different forms, but the way that I am using it this year is I am leaning towards painting. I am doing a paint by numbers right now, so I'm working on that, and I just do it very slowly. I do it whenever I'm in these you know, moods that I need to switch my mind or just kind of have a little bit of fun. I will sit down and paint a little bit of that even before I do some task. Um, so I'll do a little bit of that. And I also bought all of the, I have canvases and I have acrylics. I have yet to break them out. I'm actually waiting for a nice day. I, I wanna paint outside. So I'm looking for anything that's creative for you, whether it's like needlepoint or um, like my father, as I've said before, he does a CNC machine. Just get something that leads to that creative brain and lets you disappear from all the stuff that's going on in your life and just focus on one fun task. Step four, this one is all about moving your body. This can be, you know, you go to a workout class, you go out rollerblade or skate, or what I'm doing now is weightlifting and I'm also dancing. So I have started taking up country line dancing. So I'll insert a little clip with my daughter and I here, we were actually in a parking lot. I was just trying to learn a new song. So it's just something that brings me so much joy and it's something that brings her joy as well. So it's also a way to connect with my daughter. So we have a blast trying to learn these dances. She's far better than I am, but it's still fun. So just move your body, go swim, go anything that gets your body moving. It can be small or it can be big and just have fun with it.
step five, go out and do a hobby, whether it's, you know, golfing or um, I actually have gone back to hitting softballs. It was something I played sports all my life. And then I totally got away from what made me so happy. I loved playing sports. So I have started to implement that back into my life. Um, so I have a little bit of footage from a little bit ago where we had gone to a batting cage. So it was something that took like 30 minutes and it was so much fun. So just get back, re-find that old hobby that you like or find a brand new one. Number six, make time to hang out with your friends or with your family. Um, this is something that I try to do a lot. I enjoy just squeezing in a cup of coffee with a friend, going and exploring with friends. There's just, there's something about hanging out with your friends and just getting caught up on their life that really doesn't have to take a long period of time. It can be a 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, whatever it is but it just refuels the soul and gives you like that oomph. There's something about talking with your friends and your family that lifts you up. Number seven, go out in nature. This could be something as simple as going out in your backyard and doing what they call grounding, where you take your shoes off and you actually just touch the grass and the dirt with your feet and you just stand there. It's something that's supposed to take the energy from you and to kind of uplift you. And every time I have done it, it has worked. So lay in a hammock, sit in the yard and read a book, have a little picnic, um, go feed the ducks at a local park. Just go out and do something in nature. Number eight, this one can kind of coincide with the last one where you go out into nature, uh, go for a walk. Going for a walk, really, it's so good for so many things. A, it's moving your body like we discussed earlier. It's also getting out in nature or even if you just walk at the gym, anything, it's gonna raise those endorphins. It's gonna make you feel great. And it's got so many positive immediate results as well as long-term results. So get up and go for a walk. Number nine, hang out with your pets. If you don't have any pets, then maybe go visit a shelter or go again, like I said, to the park and feed the ducks. Do something where you're with nature. They have zoos, they have aquariums, all that stuff. Something about being in the presence of animals, it's calming to you. So if you have a dog, a cat, whatever, your guinea pig, whatever it is that you have, hang out with your pets and give them some time. They're full of love and it's just something so soothing. My last tip to get out, go to the movies. Um, we love movies. Of course, costs and stuff is going up, so we don't go quite as often as we used to. But there is something, I know you can watch everything here on the couch, but there is something about going and seeing a movie, having that popcorn, and just watching it on the big screen. Grab a friend, grab a spouse, or just go by yourself. Some of the best times I've had, I just go by myself and just catch a movie and order the big popcorn and sit there for two hours with no distractions. You can't have your phone on, you can't do anything else. 
and you just transport yourself into whatever movie that you're in. It's a great way to reset your mind again, um, incorporate some fun, but there's not as much movement. So if it's an ugly rainy day, just go to the movies and enjoy. So these are my 10 tips that I hope at least one of them sparks some interest for you that'll help you. I also am a huge believer in the daylight therapy lamps. I actually have one and when I feel myself getting into that dip because the sun has not been out for several days, I will just plug that lamp in and sit, I think they say to sit under it for like at least 10 to 15 minutes a day. And if I'm in a really bad spot, I'll do it, say, like in the morning over coffee and journaling. And then I'll do it again in the mid-afternoon if I start to feel that slump again. It simulates sunlight. So it boosts up that portion of your brain and it kind of lifts your spirits. And it may not work the first day. I, I usually feel it pretty fast. But in a couple days, three days of doing it, you'll get back to the way you feel normally. You, you don't have that, the cloud that comes with the seasonal weather depression. But of course, if it's anything that you're really having trouble with, there are other ways you need to seek professional help. But if it's just something small, you just feel just not quite yourself, I hope these tips will help you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.